First of all, let me remove this all and then So guys <coughs> In order to work with backups In order to work with backups what we need to do is we need to first install a feature and then we work with it but since you have installed the feature i'm going to show you how to install a feature but before that let me let me cover cover one more uh one more topic here <coughs> that is known as backup retention policy backup retention policy Backup retention policy. Now, what is a backup retention policy? It refers to how long do we need to keep backups for any organization. So this, it refers to how long how long they will retain. <coughs> Exactly. Retention, so retain. Good. How long we retain the backups? Now, retention policy is different in different organizations. In some places, it is very aggressive. In some places, they keep it based on how much they can spend on backups. Okay, so first of all, a retention policy can be very expensive or it can be, it can be based on how the company, that was a bad idea. <coughs> I just took a samosa <coughs> from there and it, it was, there was one samosa, only one. So oh, they had many, but there were many people too. So they, they, they saved one for me. Now I can't speak. So that's okay. Good. Yes. Okay. The most important thing about retaining or retention policy is this. Nowadays, storage is not expensive. What is expensive is how long you want to keep the backup. Now. According to Canadian government, Canadian laws, it is seven years, seven years. All companies must retain data for all employees for seven years. So it is seven year retention for all employee data. When they joined their, uh, uh, their uh, salaries, insurance, this and that and everything. Now, now this seven years is very expensive for uh, for keeping a data. For example, now if your company is like this, so they, they have only one server. They have only one server. And that one server takes around, let's say one tape of one TB tape. So these are just tape. Tape drives are like old cassette players drives. Those are small drives. But, but but they are more faster. But they are more faster than normal tape, uh, the, the cassette player, the cassettes. So we keep it here in one tape drive. So this one tape drive, if you if you are to keep it for seven years, that will cost you a lot of amount to keep. Now what happens is you can keep it and, and these must be kept outside the organization, off site. So these backups should be off-site backups. Now what is meant by off-site? Off-site means not in your organization, outside somewhere else. So if it is kept outside and it takes a lot of dollar amount to keep it for seven years, now that all multiplies to the number of servers you have in your organization. 
So then you multiply with, if you have 400 servers, this all seven years process will be very costly for you. So this is why it is very important to, uh, to, uh, to uh, when you are backing up, you need to first make a retention policy for your organization. And why is it important to make a retention policy? Because you need to keep your costs to minimum. Okay, so if you have an aggressive retention policy, what is aggressive ret retention policy? Aggressive retention policy is that your company has 10 servers and for all 10, 10 servers, and uh, for all 10 servers, you take full backup every day, full backup every day. And then all these backups are going into seven years. This is aggressive, aggressive retention policy that your company doesn't even care to, re to, to rotate those tapes, you override those tapes again. Each and every tape is being backed up for seven years. Okay, that is aggressive, aggressive backup policy and that, that happens in small, medium sized organizations, smaller organizations. But what, is a, what, is, what happens in real environments, in, in larger environments? In larger environments, it goes like this. So, uh, just like we decided, we're going to take full backup. We're going to take full backup weekly and system state backup daily. So, uh, this is how it goes. Um, so, month one, month one, which is January, you start with week one. Month one and week one. So, first on, let's say, on Friday, you're taking a full backup. And rest of the days you're taking uh, system state backup. So rest meaning, uh, so this is Friday, full backup. And this will be, let's say for full backup, you have, uh, you have a tape drive. That is known as, that is known as month one, week one, uh, full, full backup, one tape. And then you take one backup on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Saturday and Sunday. And Saturday, Sunday, all these backups are system state backups. Yes. If we have backup on Monday, why we don't keep it on Friday backup? Yeah, because we need to keep that backup. But, but, but hold on, but hold on. Uh, let me complete that, then I'll come back to your question. So here, on Monday, you're taking system state backup. So I'm going to say SB system state backup and this is system state backup and this is system state backup so these are all system state backups and they require each day for one day so there is a tape for there is a tape for monday tuesday thursday saturday and sunday so how many tapes are there one to seven tapes now these seven tapes will be saved so seven tapes saved for month one and week one. So first month you use, first week you use seven tapes. And then the next week, which is the second week, so month one, week two, uh, you will start with a second tape. So you're not going to touch anything. You're not going to do anything on these tapes. These tapes will be kept as is. And then you will start again here. So again Friday and you have Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So this will go like this. Here you have full backup. Here you have system state. System state backup. So here we're going to say SB is equal to system state. So system state and how many tapes are there again seven tapes so seven tapes for month one and week two so now how many organization how many tapes do you need for for this 14 okay. tapes 14 okay. first seven tapes for, for the first weeks. week for then two second for two weeks for two weeks seven, 14, 14 tapes and then you're going to do the same thing for third week for third week, again, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, 
Wednesday, Thursday, and then full here, system state, system state, system state, system state, system state, and then here again seven new tips. But you don't use the same, uh, the same tips? You're not using the same tips, no. Why, there, is a, uh, there, there is a reason for this. There why, is a why seven days? Hmm? Uh, why seven days? Is, is that for Monday to Friday only? Yes, some organization would completely ignore Saturday, Sunday. They would ignore Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. You're right. They, they, so, so there will be five tapes. There will be five tapes. But five tapes or seven tapes? This is just an example. I mean, you're 100% right because Saturday and Sunday are not working days. You don't have to take backup for Saturday and Sunday. So even if you remove Saturday and Sunday, it's fine. It's fine. So, so but here, important thing to know is that now you have used 21 new tapes, 21 new tapes. Now what is the advantage of this? The advantage is that if at any point now in week four, so now in, in, in month one and week four, in one month, month one, week four, you have Saturdays, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And let's say you, now you've decided not to take backups on Saturday, Sunday. Here you take full backup. And here you take system state, system state, system state, system state. Now, now the big advantage is, now coming back to your question, Asma. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. So, here, remember, on week four, we're going to use the tapes of week one. On week four, we're going to rotate tapes of week one. So in this retention policy, you have two weeks of worth data available at any time. Two weeks. Now, which means, now at this point, let's say on Saturday your system crashed. So now you can either try this week's data to be, to be restored. And sometimes what happens is the tapes are not good. You have seven tapes to work with. So if there is any issue with the tapes, then maybe you can go back one more week back. So this is why, so then you, somebody asked a question that why we are not rotating the, using the same tape. If this set doesn't work, you can still go back here. Or if this set doesn't work, you can still go back here. So instead of re 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 use, reusing the same tapes, you just want to keep it for the further backup. Now, what we do is, on week fourth, on week fourth, we are going to reuse this this step. This set of tapes, we are going to reuse in week four here. So meaning, now I'm overwriting the week one backups because I have for emergency, I have week three and week two available. Why, uh, why are we reusing it, why? Uh, just um, to keep the cost low, just to keep the cost low. Because now your company, might decide no they don't want to reuse it they they they'll, they'll use new tapes for these seven why am i typing types tapes 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 okay so now your your company might decide to use new tapes it's all it's all based on how much they want to spend on it but realistically, you don't need to keep the week one backup if you have two more backups available. Now the whole idea is that if you have to restore, then if in case if this set doesn't work, you can you should have at least one more set in the bag uh, available. The idea is that that if this doesn't work, then you have. Let's say every week you re you re re reusing the same tips, then you can you have only one set to play with. You don't have three sets to play with. So week four, you go back to week one. Yes. So week four, we're going to reuse it. Now, these are tapes, guys. Remember that. These are tapes. These are cassette-like cassette -like tapes. And these tapes get corrupted as well. So because, uh, the moment you reuse it, it will... Uh, no, no. It, it, I mean, they, they are reusable. They are expensive tapes. They are not just normal mm -hmm. tapes. They are expensive. Each tape will be maybe, maybe in few hundreds. How, how many times they can be used? Uh, as much as, so uh, uh, as long as it, it keeps on working. As long as it keeps on working. So, and sometimes a tape cannot be reused more than three times. It is based on the company policy. 
So let's say here. Now these tips are being used here. So these tips are again being used. Now, now see what happens the next month. Next month, months to week one. Months to week one, it will be this set will be used. Second set. This set will be used here. So this is how it, it is going on. So now this set is being used here, but, but, but here is a very important point. So here, no backups here. You are taking backup Monday, Thursday. Here, again, full backup. System state, system state, system state. And guess what happens to this backup? What happens to this backup? So these seven tips, these seven tips for the first month, they will be sent off site. And these tips will be kept for seven years. So these tips will act as a full backup of January. So January tips at the end of the week, in the last week, this set will be kept for seven years. They don't have to keep all these sets for seven years, just one set for that last week and it will be kept for seven years. Only last, just last month. Only last week of month. Every month, last week of every month. So at the end of the year, you will have a backup of February, you will have a backup of March, you will have a backup of April, and so on. So why so last week? Why huh? last week? Um, it is because it is it is the latest backup. I mean, you oh, can't okay, take okay. this backup because you still have one more week available. So so here so at the end of the month, if the government come back to you saying, you know what, we need a record from 2003 March. So they have a full backup of 2003 March. So it means we only retain the, the new one, latest one. So we only retain the, the last the week of each month. Yeah, the current one. And then at the end, your company is retaining how many tapes are there? So seven tapes for each month and seven into 12. We're not good in maths. All of us. Huh? Seven into 12. Seven into seven, seven times 12. Seven. 84. 84. So 84 tapes for one year is kept for each uh, for each server. How big is the tape? Huh? How big is it? So tapes are now, they come in many different sizes. They come as uh, 3 GB, 5 GB, or 20 GB, or 30 GB. The tapes are, they, they vary in size. Is it just one tape it would keep for seven years? So one set is kept for seven no, no, years. One set. One set is oh, kept for seven, seven years. Seven tips, yeah. Or maybe it could be that organization policy. They just want to keep the full backup of that, of that month for, for, for seven years. They don't need oh. to keep, keep the uh, uh, yes, system right. state backup. So full backup of that month last yeah, week will tape. be kept for seven years. So here for January you have a full backup available and then you have a full backup available. Yes, and that makes sense too. Instead of keeping four, 84 tapes, you're just full keeping tapes. 12 tapes for one server. Yeah. And that is, remember it's one server. Think of now you have 400 servers. Then 400 servers, yes. Roger has so many servers. Yes, they, they, they have this, they have this. Yes, they have to have it. And since Rogers, Roger has around more than 8,000 servers. Now they have around 12,000 servers. So in there, in order to do this, people are not doing this job. They have a complete robotic backup machine. It's a robotic backup. It automatically takes the tapes and insert it in the server, takes the backup, keep it there, label it, and then keep it uh, somewhere. And they have spent millions of dollars on that. And, th and it makes sense too, because it's a government regulation. It's not something where you can do your own stuff. So retention policy in, 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 in backups is very important. This is very important to understand as well. Yes. Is, is there a curiosity, like out of um, all of these main like, telecom companies that there are, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say Rajan is the best in regards to like, infrastructure investment? No, no, no. I won't say the best. But I was like, I'm talking between like Rogers Telus and Bell. Uh, I can't compare them. I've never, I've not seen them. Okay, so I worked in few telecoms, largest telecom in 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 uh, back in Saudi. I was in Saudi Telecom, uh, Active Directory servers, backup, and everything. Uh, most of their infrastructure is exactly the same. 
because they have to spend money on infrastructure and especially north american infrastructures are better than better than uh, any other countries western countries infrastructures are better because they uh, they have to upgrade they, they're, 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 their life cycle for the devices is three to four years so anyways uh, to answer your question it's maybe it could be a little different but they have to invest in technology they're all, the they all the same okay now guys let's talk about installing configuring the backups we have one hour so installing configuring backups installing configuring backups Now installing configuring backup, the very first thing is on a server, on a server, first of all, install the backup feature. What is the feature name? Windows. Install the feature called, install a feature called Windows Server Backup? Windows Server Backup. Okay. And Windows Server Backup. Next one, from Tools, open Windows Server Backup. From Server Manager, from Server Manager, Tools, open, I think it is Server Backup or Windows Server Backup? Windows Server Backup. And then from there, create a full backup. <clears throat> no, first we're going to try a custom backup. Create a backup. But here, before here. Now, when we are taking a backup, when we are taking a backup, we should take it on a separate disk, on a separate disk, not on the C drive. So. It is important to take a backup on a separate, on another disk, not on the same C drive. So from here, what we need to do, so here I'm going to say note, uh, add a second disk, add a second disk on a server where we take the backup. Now how to add a disk, we all know that we can go to the VM properties, add a disk and then go to the uh, uh, go to uh, storage manager and then enable it, make it online. Make it online and format. Now for this, you need to go to, go to VM settings, go to VM settings and then add disk add disk and then go to server manager within server manager go to within server manager I think you need to go to file and storage services file and storage services five gb is enough hmm? five no you, you need to take a no 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 you need at least uh, 10 uh, 20 gb because you're going to be taking a full backup of vm <coughs> storage services um and then you need to go to, I think, file and storage services and disk. Where? In disk. And then make it online and create a volume. Make the disk online. 
Number one, create a volume. And once this is all done, the sales, sales manager. Server manager? Yeah. Here? Yeah. So from server manager you need to go to file and storage services. And from here you need to go to disk. Within disk you need to make the disk online. And then create a volume. I'm gonna, we're gonna do that, but for now write the steps. Make sure you have a new disk available. Okay. And right after that, we're going to do our first backup. So backup, so we need to, after that, <coughs> number five, create a folder. Create a folder on C drive. <coughs> Create a folder on C drive called reports. Number so what one. did you call the new disk? It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. Is there a default name? Was there a default name? No? Yeah. What was it? Whatever it is, S Y D D C. Okay, that's it. It just comes up as yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, create a folder on C drive called reports, and then inside reports, create a file. Create a file called. sales stats. So create a folder, inside a folder create a file called sales star. So first backup that we need to create, we will create a new backup for, we'll create a new backup for reports folder. And then we'll delete the reports folder and restore it. So we'll first try a custom backup. So first example is, First lab is backup reports folder. Sales states, that one. Report folder. Delete the folder. Sales stats, yes. Mm -hmm. Delete the re reports folder. then restore from backup. So that is first exercise that we're gonna do. Lab number two will be full backup. So lab number one, lab number two, take full backup. Actually, lab number two will be take system state backup. file on C drive of <coughs> the host machine or the VM? VM, VM. So create a folder on C drive called reports on SYD-DC. So 
एक सिस्टम स्टेट बैकअप वेरीफाई बैकअप फिनिश्ड सक्सेसफुली लैब थ्री टेक फुल बैकअप सर्वर क्रैश द सर्वर बाय क्रैश द सर्वर बाय डिलीटिंग सिस्टम फाइल्स रिस्टोर फ्रॉम फुल बैकअप थ्री लैब्स वाले हैं सर दस बेसिकली इस ना रेगुलर टेक्स्ट डॉक्यूमेंट राइट यस एंड गूगल ट्राइड इन जिम्मेदारी हम्म ट्राइड इन जिम्मेदारी व्हिच वन uh uh maybe this is a test file something like that so let's do a lab what's that crash 